everyone welcome back it's melanie your she shed scrapper so today's layout is kind of a dual purpose layout so first it is a kickoff for my august mini series which is going to be using washi tape that is going to be posted every saturday in august and then second i am doing a youtube hop i don't do them often but i was so excited to join this one and it the theme is ice cream and lemonade and we could interpret it any way that we wanted to. Um, so definitely check out the other scrappers. Their links will be down below and show them some love. So I went searching kind of for a fun summary collection, one that I had the washi tape with. And I chose the Saturday afternoon collection by One Canoe 2 which I absolutely love. And while I was looking at it, they actually have a beautiful um, foam ice cream sticker. So it was absolutely perfect for this layout. I was so excited that I could kind of combine the two ideas into one layout and yeah, be able to kind of have a dual purpose layout. So on the left-hand side, you can see that I did kind of do strips of the washi tape up and down the page. Um, those are obviously longer than the right-hand side, uh, but I love how the washi tape can kind of give you your own background. Uh, you know, instead of using pattern paper, you can definitely kind of make your own using this. So what I am going to be using, or scrapbooking, is this picture of my friend and I. Um, we were on a road trip and we got ice cream and we're kind of cheersing. Um, to the ice cream and I just thought this would be the perfect photo to scrapbook for the YouTube hop. There was this cute ice cream cut apart. However, I was really having a hard time using it. I did not want to cover up too much of the background. Um, I wanted the washi to kind of be the focus, I guess. And I just, with the size of the picture and the size of the cut apart, it was just really hard for me to kind of figure out how to use it. So I am going to double back the photo um, using a paper out of the six by eight paper pad, that kind of coral striped paper. I absolutely love that, um, love that color, such a bright summery color. And I'm going to pick, wow, pop the photo up on some foam tape. And it looks like I actually end up moving the photo um, <laughs> after I have it placed down. Um, so uh, when I still thought that I was going to be using the cut apart, I decided to back it so that it popped off the page a little bit better and didn't really blend in because it is a pattern. I wanted it to kind of stand out a little bit. Um, and here you can see me kind of looking for different placements for it. But again, it's just so large. Um, that it was hard to use. So I have quite a bit of this collection. I have the layered stickers, the foam stickers, um, just a bunch. And there was this really cute banner uh, that I wanted to incorporate and just kind of had to figure out where to incorporate it. And I wanted to add a title as well. So I went through my alpha searching for a color that I thought would kind of match. And I decided on this Simple Stories um, Aqua, alpha. So I titled my layout Cheers. Um, I thought that was appropriate and cute and fun for the kind of summery ice cream feel. Um, so that is going to be my title. I did place it kind of towards the bottom. And then there's that banner I was trying to kind of figure out where to place. I decided to place it under the title there and then get on with my embellishing. So this is where I kind of moved the photo. Um, I decided to kind of offset it there to the left. Like I said, I didn't want to really cover up um, much of the washi and I wanted you to be able to see kind of the middle where, you know, where the white space is, I guess. Um, so that's why I kind of moved it and also try to figure out if I could use that cut apart still. Um, so there's that really cute ice cream on the bottom left of the photo. And then I added a cute camera there um, for that little cluster. And then kind of just playing around, I decided to add that flower to the top left of the photo. Um, and then the sticker sheet had some hexagons, but they only had three of them. And I kind of wanted to incorporate them into some other 
clusters, I guess. And so I decided to put them up to the top left with that flower. Um, and I figured I kind of needed some kind of embellishing on the right hand side of the page. So there was this really cute layered sticker um, that said good vibes only. So I placed that there and then I remembered I had some hexagon puffy stickers from close to my heart. So I grabbed those out and added those. They were the perfect color. So I added those to each cluster there. Um, and I think I'm going to add, a, I did add a cluster. You can, it is hard to see um, those stickers. Um, I do end up moving those hexagon stickers um, with the good vibes only up a little bit so you could see it a little bit better. And then I am going to just add this phrase sticker to the top there. It says, enjoy the little things. And again, just thought that was completely appropriate for this ice cream and the road trip. Uh, so that is going to actually finish off the embellishing, but the white is just so white. Um, so I wanted to add some splatty bits. And so I got out my Heidi Shine, Hi, Heidi Swap Color Shine, wow, <laughs> in the navy color and added that all throughout the white of the page up and down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out the other scrappers who participated in the YouTube hop and we will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.